Every day we are bombarded by environmental agents that damage our cells. Things like UV radiation and chemical exposure such as air pollution and cigarette smoke. Even the byproducts of metabolism, such as free radicals, can damage cells. These damaging agents can make changes to the DNA in our cells. DNA encodes the information needed to make proteins, which are the building blocks of our body. To keep two metres of DNA organised within the nucleus, it is wound around special structures called histones much like thread on a spool. Damage to DNA can include single strand breaks, double strand breaks, changes to the DNA code, DNA kinks, and DNA sticking together. It has been estimated that an individual cell can suffer up to one million DNA changes per day. If the DNA damage is able to be repaired, a very complex and highly regulated sequence of events follows, which is orchestrated by three main molecular machines. This is machine number one, which is searching for a broken DNA end. Once it has found the broken end, machine one activates this molecule. Once active, the molecule participates in a series of interactions leading to machine number two. Here it is again, this time activating another molecule. This is machine two, assembling into its active form. Machine two builds a chain to link to machine three. Here is machine three, which has also built a chain. The final molecule in this repair complex, BRCA1, forms from two identical halves, which come together and bind. BRCA1 then begins the recruitment of further complexes that carry out the actual DNA repair. After a long chain of events not shown here, the DNA is finally repaired. Inherited changes in this area of BRCA1 alter the protein so that it cannot interact with its identical half. The DNA repair process is therefore interrupted. 
Without functional BRCA1, over time, cells can accumulate more and more DNA damage. These damaged cells are more likely to grow and divide out of control, leading to formation of tumours. Alterations in the BRCA1 gene lead to an increased risk for cancer as part of hereditary breast and ovarian cancer syndrome. Inherited BRCA1 errors result in a lifetime risk of 50 to 80% for the development of breast cancer and 30 to 50% for ovarian cancer. Women afflicted with BRCA1 alterations face a lifetime of constant surveillance. However, some women opt to ameliorate the risk of cancer by surgical removal of ovaries, total mastectomy, and taking tamoxifen medication. In addition to breast and ovarian cancer, BRCA1 errors are also implicated in causing pancreatic and prostate cancer. The Peter McCallum Cancer Centre is one of the world's leading cancer research, education and treatment centres and is Australia's only public hospital solely dedicated to caring for people affected by cancer. Peter Mac is the largest and most advanced cancer research site in Australia. Our internationally renowned cancer laboratories seek fundamental biological and biomedical discoveries and aim to facilitate the development and application of these discoveries to their full therapeutic potential. We are also committed to offering state-of-the-art diagnostic services and treatment for patients directly resulting from our own discoveries in the lab and the most innovative research and technology from around the world. The Parkville Familial Cancer Centre offers cancer risk assessment, genetic testing and counselling and medical advice and management, as well as psychological support to those concerned about cancer. Furthermore, we are actively involved in cancer prevention strategies such as the ban on smoking and avoiding UV exposure. Indeed, Peter Mac has been instrumental in the Australia-wide ban on commercial tanning beds. <laughs>